Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered if we're alone in the universe? It's a question that has intrigued humanity for centuries, sparking countless debates and captivating the imaginations of scientists, philosophers, and dreamers alike. The cosmos is vast, a seemingly infinite expanse of celestial bodies, galaxies, and nebulous wonders. In this grand cosmic theater, it seems almost inconceivable that Earth should be the sole stage of life's grand performance. The universe, in its staggering vastness, holds about two trillion galaxies, each teeming with billions of stars, and by extension, potentially billions of planets. Surely, amongst this celestial sea, there must be other planets that harbor life. The probability seems not just likely, but almost certain. Yet, despite our best efforts, and our most powerful telescopes turned skyward, we've found no definitive signs of extraterrestrial life. The question is not so much, is there life out there? Why haven't we found any signs of it yet? Introduction to Fermi Paradox This is where the Fermi Paradox enters the picture. It's a concept that has baffled scientists, philosophers, and space enthusiasts alike for decades. But what exactly is it? Named after the renowned physicist Enrico Fermi, the Fermi Paradox is a contradiction that emerges from our understanding of the cosmos. It revolves around a simple yet puzzling question. If there are millions of potentially habitable planets in our galaxy alone, then why haven't we found any signs of extraterrestrial life? The paradox stems from two conflicting facts. On one hand, we have the Drake Equation, which suggests that there's a high probability for the existence of intelligent, technologically advanced civilizations in our galaxy. We'll delve deeper into this intriguing equation in the next scene. On the other hand, we have the Great Silence, the unsettling fact that we've yet to discover any signs of these civilizations, let alone make contact. Despite our best efforts, our radio telescopes remain eerily quiet, and our space probes return home without any signs of extraterrestrial life. This contradiction is at the heart of the Fermi Paradox. Given the sheer scale of the universe, with its billions of galaxies each home to billions of stars, it seems almost impossible that Earth is the only planet where life has taken root. Yet, the universe remains silent. The Fermi Paradox doesn't provide any answers. Instead, it sharpens the question, making us rethink our assumptions about life, intelligence, and civilization. It forces us to confront the possibility that we might be alone in the universe. Or perhaps, that we're simply not listening in the right way, or at the right time. So, we find ourselves staring at a cosmic crossroads, caught between the promise of countless civilizations suggested by the Drake Equation, and the stark silence that meets our every attempt to reach out. Essentially, if there are a multitude of technologically advanced civilizations in the galaxy, then why haven't we heard anything from them? This is the question that keeps us looking up at the stars, and it's the question that we'll continue to explore in the coming scenes. The Drake Equation To understand the Fermi Paradox, you first need to grasp the Drake Equation. This mathematical formula is not designed to spit out an exact figure, but rather to spark scientific dialogue about the probability of extraterrestrial life. Imagine the Drake Equation like a cosmic recipe. Each ingredient, or factor, plays a pivotal role in determining the final outcome. The first factor is the rate of star formation in our galaxy. Picture the universe as a vast cosmic kitchen, with stars being baked at a steady pace. Next, we add a pinch of planets. This is the fraction of those stars that have planetary systems. Like choosing the right ingredients for a dish, not all stars have the right conditions for planets to form. Now. We consider the number of those planets that could potentially support life, the cosmic equivalent of a perfectly baked pie. Then, we stir in the fraction of those planets where life actually develops, the rarest ingredient of all. Finally, we add the number of civilizations that could communicate across interstellar distances. This is the cherry on top of our cosmic pie, the ultimate goal of our recipe. As we blend these factors together, we get a rough estimate it's not a precise figure, but a starting point for discussing the likelihood of contacting extraterrestrial civilizations. The result is a rough estimate of the number of civilizations in our galaxy that we might come in contact with. The Great Filter 
Now let's delve into one of the most popular solutions to the Fermi Paradox, the Great Filter. Imagine life as a marathon, a race with multiple hurdles. The Great Filter is the ultimate hurdle, the most challenging one that stands between simple pre-life and a grand Type 3 civilization. A Type 3 civilization, for context, is a species so advanced that it can harness the energy of an entire galaxy. Now that's a mind-boggling level of advancement. So, what is this Great Filter? Essentially, it's a hypothetical barrier in the evolutionary journey. It's the idea that at some stage in the progression from pre-life to a Type 3 civilization, there's a wall, a barrier so severe that all, or nearly all, life forms hit it and don't make it past. It's a filter that sieves out the successful from the unsuccessful, the survivors from the non-survivors. There are countless possibilities for what this great filter could be. Anything from a cataclysmic natural disaster to a self-inflicted apocalypse. It could be a complex hurdle, such as the leap from single-celled to multi-celled organisms. Or, it could be something we can't even fathom yet. The chilling aspect of the Great Filter is not just its existence, but its position relative to us. Have we, as humans, already passed this Great Filter? Have we overcome that insurmountable hurdle without even realizing it? If so, we might be one of the rare, lucky species in the universe. But what if we haven't? What if the Great Filter is still ahead of us, lurking in the shadows of our future? That's a terrifying thought. It suggests that our journey towards becoming a Type 3 civilization could be cut short. It means that our greatest test, our most significant challenge, is still to come. It's a chilling thought, the possibility that we have yet to encounter the Great Filter. That it might still be waiting in our future. Other possible explanations. There are, of course, other potential solutions to the Fermi Paradox. We've explored the Drake Equation and the idea of the Great Filter. But the universe is vast and mysterious, and there are more theories out there worth considering. First, let's consider the concept known as the zoo hypothesis. This theory proposes that we are like animals in a zoo, observed by extraterrestrial life forms who deliberately avoid making their presence known so as not to interfere with our natural development. Imagine for a moment that we are part of a cosmic wildlife sanctuary, our actions and behaviors monitored by beings with technology far beyond our understanding. It's a thought that's as unsettling as it is fascinating. Then, there's the transcension hypothesis. This idea suggests that advanced civilizations don't just leave our planet or our solar system, but our universe entirely. They ascend into a post-singularity, trans-dimensional existence that we can't even begin to comprehend with our current understanding of physics. It's like they've played the game of life on the hardest difficulty and won, moving on to a level we can't even see. And then, there's the possibility of simple cosmic isolation. Space is mind-bogglingly huge. The distances between stars and galaxies are so vast that they defy our understanding. It's possible that there are other civilizations out there, but we're just too far apart to make contact. Like ships passing in the night, we could be missing each other in the vast ocean of the cosmos. These are just a few of the theories that seek to explain the enigma of the Fermi Paradox. Each one offers a different perspective on our place in the universe, and each one raises its own set of questions. Are we alone? Are we being watched? Have others transcended the physical realm? Or are we all just too far apart? Each theory holds its own fascination and its own set of questions. The Fermi Paradox provokes us to question our place in the universe. It's a cosmic conundrum that weaves a web of intrigue, challenging our understanding of the cosmos and our role within it. Throughout our exploration today, we've delved into the depths of this paradox, unraveling its various aspects. We began with the extraterrestrial enigma, the perplexing question of why, in a universe so vast and ancient, we've yet to encounter signs of alien civilizations. We then ventured into the heart of the Fermi paradox itself, grappling with its central query, where is everybody? The paradox's namesake, Enrico Fermi, posed this question, and it remains largely unanswered to this day. Next, we explored the Drake Equation, a mathematical formula devised to estimate the number of advanced civilizations in our galaxy. This led us to the chilling concept of the Great Filter, a hypothetical barrier that prevents civilizations from colonizing the universe. In our journey, we also considered other possible explanations for our cosmic solitude. Are we alone? Or are we just not listening in the right way? 
Could civilizations be avoiding us, or have they self-destructed? These are all tantalizing possibilities that continue to fuel our search for answers. While we may not have the answers yet, the search for extraterrestrial life continues to be one of the most exciting quests of our time.